Well, good evening everybody how you doing hopefully everybody can hear me okay we're in a little lavalier mic tonight so i can move around uh welcome welcome we got uh, a bunch of people in here already that's a great start i guess coming from mel and uh i see uh i see two uh patients tonight in the uh in the green room <laughs> So tonight what we're going to do is, uh, after I say hello to everybody, I'll bring them in. And what we're going to do tonight is basically we're going to see if Art Carlson got ripped off. Um, Art, <laughs> and Ken, I see Ken, he's got Ken there with him. Art bought this drone for 60 bucks on a police auction site or something, sight unseen, didn't know what it was. And uh, he sent it to me and tonight we're going to see just exactly what it is. It ought to be fascinating. And... Uh, Rick, uh, Rick Halber's got a uh, FPV drone, he's got a Tiny Hawk 2, 
and he bought the uh, starter kit with the uh, controller and the goggles, but he's got a big time uh, radio and set of goggles, so we're going to see if we can't uh, uh, help him get uh, get started. So uh, we're uh, we're going to be busy, and uh, yeah, I see you in the green room there, Rick. So without further ado, let me bring in my my guinea pigs here tonight. First, let's bring in uh, Art Carlson. Hi, Art. Hey, Mitch. Great to be here. How you doing? Loved your uh, video before the, the show. Oh, that, uh, yeah, you know, it's a, I, I don't know if people are getting tired of watching pictures of the, of the park or not, but uh, <laughs> that's where I do most of my flying, so maybe it's a little repetitive, but cool. uh, at any rate. And uh, we also got uh, Rick Albert. Rick, you ready? I think there so. he is. Okay, hey, how Rick. you doing, buddy? All right. Good to see you. Can you hear me Good fine? To see you. Yeah, we I can. Good. No echo or anything? No, no, it sounds fine. Okay. Yeah. Did you expect to have an echo for some reason? Uh, actually, I can hear you talking and stuff, and normally I can't unless I have my headphones on, but. It, Oh, I had, okay. pro I had no, problems yesterday, yeah. as long as it's working. Yeah, it seems I don't hear any echoes. Do you, Art? Do you hear anything oh, coming? I don't hear any echo. Echo. Oh, okay. Echo. 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 All right. Well, let me say hi to everybody in the chat. I see Bill, Coast to Coast Drone, said he's fixing dinner, washing clothes. Always nice to know. I was concerned about whether he was eating and staying clean, so my question was answered. Jody is here. Hey, Jody. Uh, Art and Rick, we know about that. Tomas is here, and uh, AZ Drone Dude, how you doing? Uh, Timeless Truths, and uh, Mr. Chris Hope is here. How you doing, Chris? Good to see you. Good to see you. You know, before we before we get started, and and uh, uh, oh, Ray Kelly's here too. Ray hey, Kelly hey. just chimed in. Uh, Car uh, Carlos chimed in, and uh, good deal. Good. We got a nice. Uh, Nice group of guys here. I, I, I wanted to share a little something with you guys. Um, and it may it may get my it may get this video X, X rated, but I don't care because it's funny. And I, I, I wanted to share it with you. And I hope I don't get any kind of copyright strikes because it's a Twitter thing that my son sent me. And uh, and it just uh, let me see if I can get it get it to go here. And I'll show it to you. But it was it was it was just it was just funny, uh, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm going to have I'm going to have to do it in a different browser. Uh oh. So let so let me uh, let me try that because I want to get the audio from it, and uh, let's see if this works. Okay, and let's blow it up full stream. I was outside here a while ago, and okay. Did you guys hear that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. So now what I want to do is make this big, and go over to it, and make me big. Yeah. There we go. Uh huh. Well, okay. Take uh, us out. Crackhead girl, come walking up up the driveway here. Walks up, kind of snuck up on me, scared me a little bit. And she told me that she'd give me a blowjob and a donut for oh. a roll of toilet paper. Well, I guess she come off the parkway. I don't know. But when she left, she went right over between <laughs> Matt's fence and the barn and was headed over towards Justin's house. So i just warning y'all, getting crazy around here. <laughs> People, shit's getting real. <laughs> I was outside here a while ago. Uh, and, I gotta, uh, I gotta stop it here. How do I stop girl. it? Yeah. Stop. <laughs> walk hey, up. Yeah. Stop it. Okay. Did you, did you catch that? <laughs> oh, God, that's funny. <laughs> that funny. <laughs> uh, you know, here in Colorado, our governor is telling us we gotta wear a mask if we go outside. So I found one that you guys might enjoy. Uh, Carlos says that he sent me. That's the same one he sent me, but but that it, my son sent it to me too, Carlos. <laughs> that that was that. I I was rolling on the floor when I saw that. I mean, <laughs> I just thought that was clever, clever as hell. <laughs> uh, 
All right. Okay. So, all right. So we're gonna. Uh, uh, what happened, Art? So, there it is. All right. So look at that that mask there. That's an iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> but you might want to take the pad out first. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> that's cute. That's cool art. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. Anyway, I thought we'd start. Thought we'd start with a little, little uh, humor and little coronavirus humor in these day in this uh, this day and age. Uh, right. So, uh, uh, Kenny Cardoso is here. How you doing? Hey, Timeless Kenny. truths. Good to see you. Already said hi to Carlos and uh, Ray Kelly. Good. I hope that. Hope you enjoyed it. That was. That wasn't too too uh, uh, dirty a, a thing. But uh, when when a hand came out holding the half-eaten donut, I about honest to God, I fell out of yeah. my chair and hit the floor. <laughs> All right. So the uh, Rick. Yeah. I want want to start with you, buddy. All and right. Give you give you a little homework to do. Uh, while I go ahead and start tearing into Art's Art's little drone. All right. Okay. So what I what I'm going to want you to do is install Betaflight on your PC. Now, are you running on your PC now? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, it should you still should be able to install install Betaflight. So, uh, what I what I want to do is. I think I have uh -oh. Betaflight. Do you have Betaflight version? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I loaded 10. it on. Oh, okay. Uh, version I'm not 10 sure point. If, yeah, I'm not sure if it's the latest one out. Or. Oh, okay. Well, the latest one out is 10.6, but that's been out for a few months. So it probably, if you did it recently, it's probably the latest one. But it's probably late enough. And when you, when you open it up, it'll tell you if there's a newer version, but that won't matter because uh, I'm sure it's... Okay, good. All right. So let me... Let me Spend a little time here because I know Art hasn't been sleeping. I know he's been pacing the floor, waiting, waiting yeah, for tonight go ahead. to see. Go ahead, go ahead. I'll, I'll go to I'll see. try to open it up. Can yeah. What see. what what you do is uh, get get well. If you, do you have do you have one or two screens on your computer? Just one. Okay. It might just, just you might end up. Oh, okay. Well, we may have a, a little problem with that, but. Uh, uh, we'll give it a shot. We'll see. We'll see what happens, and uh, okay. we'll, do, we'll do the best we can. All right, Art. Yeah. So what we got? What we're gonna do with you here is um, we're gonna go over to ah, there we go. There it is. Okay, and I'm gonna move over here, and the camera's live. There's yep. my hand. So guys, keep an eye on the chat for me, if you would. Okay. Would you? Right. And. Uh, the good news, Art, is that uh, I, I, the battery is okay. It was, I'm surprised it's okay because it was, it was absolutely dead when I got it. It, oh, it, it was about 2.7 volts per cell, which wow. uh, it was really low. But I, I, I charged it and, and then cycled it once and it, it it seems to be it seems to be okay it's not puffed or anything so i think it'll i think it'll work uh so what we're going to do here is we're going to and and honest i haven't i've been itching to tear into this thing too because I, i'm you know my my curious but i wanted to do it live right so the first thing i, I want to do is get rid of these propellers right you said on that here. one of them felt like they drilled out the whole finger yeah yeah, oh. it, it, it's this one. It's this one here. Oh, it's okay. just uh, it's just rock. Yeah, these props are garbage. Uh, okay. I've got a very special place picked out for them. Okay. Yeah. Um. I but send uh, them to they. Mr. Uh, uh, uh. No, I don't think yeah. anybody would would want to uh. use these props. Not with the hole drilled out as big uh, right. as big as it as it is. Yeah. Wow, we're going to get them out of the way just so I don't right. keep banging into them. I'm right. not worried about Good it. idea. Yeah. Yeah, they're all they're all kind of see how loose that is. Can you yeah. see that? Yeah. Yeah, that would create just god awful vibration. Yeah, I bet. And if somebody put like white grease on these oh, motors, for, on this motor for some reason, 
I don't know what that stuff is. Hope it isn't uh, anthrax or something like that. Oh well. Oh well. But uh, that's okay. But the motors look brand new. Yeah. And uh, I don't know why. That might have been some powdered dust from from the prop spinning on a loose motor if you try uh, to run it up. But this these props, a lot of them are are are, are bent. So. Um, I have a very special place picked out for them. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. <laughs> yeah. They have good, they're, they're with good company in there, too. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now what I want to do, Art, is I'm going to take the top plate off of this thing. Okay. And what the hell size screws are these? Uh, better get the metric. There we go. No, that that, uh, that was metric, but these are these are very yeah. much smaller than their their uh, number their number two metric ah, bolts okay. with a one and a half millimeter driver, which is unusual for top plates. But the thing is that these don't screw it. This thing doesn't screw into uh, a normal post. It's got an aluminum. It's got aluminum ah. side plates in here. That's a I see. It's also got some tie wraps holding this LED light that's, I've never seen that's plastered on the back. And then we've got another tie wrap here. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah, sort of. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Should, I, should I zoom in a little closer? Yeah, think, a little or is this bit. Okay? Yeah? yeah, a little okay. bit closer. Please. All right, let me know if I wander out of the frame here. All right, that's, uh, that's, good. I do. that's good. All right, so what I did was I removed the top plate uh -huh. with the GPS, and it's got six wires, which means it's it. And I know this unit. This is what I this is what I use. Uh, right, right, right. In right. fact, here's here's my uh, my Tyro oh, one twenty nine, okay, yeah. and it's exactly the same exactly okay. the same unit. So I know exactly what it is. Uh, so that that's 20, 20 bucks right there, okay. and I'm sure that it probably works. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to take this I want to take this frame apart, right? So I can get down to the flight controller because I don't know if you can see it, but it, there's a bunch of yeah bunch of wires sticking out. And interestingly enough, the uh, USB port is in the oh. back here which is unusual it's usually on the side right and right. Uh, this controller board has got strange stuff he soldered like servo connections to it see oh Sticking out the side yeah, there yeah. and that's something you don't you don't ever see in a in a quad because right. the quad doesn't have servos and then there's a bunch of wires here that have little plugs to go on these pins right and that's that how i don't know i don't know why and that's what we're going to try to find out. Okay. So we're going to take this apart, take the frame apart. I'm going to take the uh, get rid of the battery strap out of the bottom. There we that go. out of the way. Take the side plates off. Right. Right. That uses the, a bigger screw, which okay. is what I thought the top plate was. Ready. So, what do you think, Art? So far, so good. You th think we'll ever get it back together again? <laughs> <laughs> uh, anybody in the chat asking anything or uh, making any, any comments well, about I this? I am. Well, I'll have to look on, on Facebook. Oh, you don't see the chat? Well, I see the chat, but it's frozen. Oh, okay. Everybody's enjoying it so far. So there's some washers in there. and That's the first time I've ever seen a washer on a drone. Okay, so this... Whoa. It's like spaghetti. There's, look at this wire. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah. That's the uh, that's the receiver, right? Which we will surgically remove. 
by cutting this tape here. And this is an R, an RSXR with a wire soldered to a pin in the middle of it, which is unusual because the RSXR has a plug. See the plug here? Right. And in that plug is usually every connection that you ever need to make right. to the receiver. So I don't know why he put this in, but then he put a piece of heat shrink right over it. Right. So we need to we need to try to find off. out. Yeah, we'll cut this off without just trying to do it without destroying everything. And these are these are good little receivers. These are twenty twenty dollar receivers. Okay. And he's got some uh, got some hot glue gluing this wire on there. Okay. And that wire wasn't oh. really soldered on too good. <laughs> uh. Okay. But we don't we don't need that wire for anything. All right. And uh, God knows what, what is that there for. This is the receiver. This is the uh, uh, this is the receiver that that you bind to your transmitter. Okay. Um, and and uh, in your Rick in your Tiny Hawk, you've got uh, a, a, a receiver built into the uh, the board to the actual main board itself. Right. But th these are the kinds of receivers that uh, that we use. Uh, this is uh, diversity, so it's got two antennas, right? And uh, it, it it does have telemetry, although the the wire that you need for telemetry doesn't doesn't isn't in this plug. The only thing in the plug are the power ground and the video and the uh, S bus. So we'll worry about that last. That's okay. just something we'll put aside here. All and right. then we have we have a buzzer here plugged a little buzzer was plugged oh, okay. into it and that was plugged in to there and then there's a green wire here Ooh. okay what i need to do is i need to take the uh take this apart and find out what's because it's right. all kinds of wires. But the first yeah. thing I want to find out when I get it all apart is I want to plug it in and find out what in the world is on it. As far as uh, beta flight, Ardu pilot, you know. Uh, right, right. I suspect either INAV or Ardu pilot because it's got the GPS. So, so there's the flight controller. The flight controller does have a, an SD card uh slot for black box logging but that's not something that you're probably going to uh, going to need it's got pins soldered all over the place right um and here's another plug and this plug goes down to the oh okay so this is the uh this is the esc right and um Evidently, these are motor signals coming from the ESC uh, into see. the uh, into the flight controller board. Right, right. But let's uh, let's unplug that and unplug that, and now we have. I'm sure glad I didn't plug a battery into this thing. Yeah, <laughs> we we would have had we would have had maximum smoke. <laughs> so instead, right. of, instead of having a one ESC on each arm that has one one in the middle. Correct. That's called a four in one ESC. Okay. I see. And each corner of it has a complete ESC and I three see. connections where the motors are 
or one. Which would be bit better to have the four or the one? Uh, well, I, I, I always use the four and ones because they're a lot, they're a lot simpler. And that's yeah. the, the, the new, new trend. Uh, this is, you know, very rarely will you find a, a, a quad unless it's some custom built, ridiculously ultra high performance racing thing that, uh, or a huge quad with huge motors that right, needs right. big, big, big ESCs. So they use individual ones. But most, most people today uh, use the four and one ESCs. In fact, any, about any flight stack that you buy brand new to build a quad with is going to come with a, a controller and a four and one right. ESC. And there's usually a, instead of these, all these wires, there is mm -hmm. a cable that comes that just plugs out of one and plugs into the other. Uh, if you okay. buy them, if you buy them as a set. Now this, um, this, th there's an arrow right here right. on the flight controller. And the, since the, the, the flight controller was mounted in the quad this way, right. it, it was, it was mounted sideways because that arrow has to point to the front, but evidently because of all the, the way they had it wired, that they probably put it in this way and then they had to go into the settings in beta flight or INAV and tell it that the, the flight controller was, was rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise evidently. But remember I told you the USB is usually on the side. Yeah, yeah. And, and if this was mounted correctly, it would be. Right. So let's take, Without further ado, let's right. take and plug this in and see what happens. Oh, hey, we got a light on. We have blinkies. Oh, okay. okay, that's that's a that's a good that's a good sign. And now yeah. we're gonna come over here and yeah. we're gonna open up beta flight and we're gonna go over to here. And it found a COM port, and I'm gonna hit connect. And it says, warning, non-clean flight beta flight firmware is not supported except for CLI mode. So that tells me that it's not beta flight. <laughs> okay. But I can get into the CLI. Oh. So I'm going to say version. And it tells me, wait a minute. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Okay, drum roll. It is <laughs> iNav. Aye. It has iNav on it. It has iNav version 2.3, which is a fairly recent version from November 24th of last year. So that was uh, five months ago, four okay. and a half months ago. So some, so this is somebody has fooled around with this thing fairly recently. Right. Okay. So it is an omnibus. F4 Pro, uh, and I'm going to just save this off to a file right now, and I can do that, and I'm going to put it on my desktop and say save. Okay, so, and now I'm going to disconnect and uh, close Betaflight, and then I have this, this little file over All right, here, I see. which tells me so I don't, I don't forget what it is. See, uh, I have Omnibus F4 Pro 2.3. Okay. okay. So with that being said, let's, uh, let's open I have. Okay. Okay. And let's connect to I have. Whoa. And let's move the con hey look at that art yeah all right con controller is is controlling so cool. so we've discovered uh what it is and the fact that it does connect to inav uh, i can see looking at the top that it right up here if you see right. where i'm pointing right yeah it says gyro accelerometer and barometer so that means it it can be used on an INAV quad because uh, you need a barometer, uh -huh. you need a GPS, yep. which is uh, in in this unit. Right. 
Right. And the compass, the magnetometer, is also in this unit. So when this unit is on and hooked up, um, it uh, it will have um, it will have everything it needs to actually run INAV. Oh, cool! And uh, wh whoever had it did calibrate the the uh, accelerometer. Did calibrate the got the compass calibrated. Uh, it's set up standard as a standard quad. Um, ports, it has um, had the GPS on UART 6, uh -huh. the receiver on UART 1, and I don't see any smart audio, but I don't see any video transmitter or anything. Now, it's possible that whoever was building this was building it to fly line of sight, not FPV. Oh. Yeah, I mean, that is possible because, I mean, it's silly. You can, you can build them that way, but right. uh, uh, why, why would you want a, a, a quad, an INF quad without a camera? Yeah. <laughs> but, well, but, uh, or, or maybe they didn't get that far. Yeah, that could but, be a uh, and let's see what it says for the uh, let's go. Uh -huh. Kid loop four K, uh, S bus receiver, GPS, um, Telemetry output, black box, enable motor and server, you need that. And oh, well, it had an OSD set it turned on and permanently enable air mode. That's good, automatic, okay. Um, what I'm looking for is, uh, well, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. What I wanna see is I wanna go back to here and I wanna see with INAV the way it's set up which way the thing tilts when I, with this little, I got the little uh, flight controller in my hand. Right. And this would be nose up, see? So it is sideways. Okay. I, I nav, I nav thinks, thinks that, it, that, that that's the front. Right. Um, so if I, if I do this, which is really the side of the board, the front comes up. So it, somebody had set it up in, in INAV to, to, to account for that. Uh, right. Uh, uh, account for that. Uh, the modes, it, on, it only had, well, it had uh, an arm switch, an angle mode switch, altitude hold, position hold, return to home, a oh. beeper. So that was all, that had been all set up. Um, oh, cool. Adjustments, BPS, mission control, OSD. Somebody, they had set up a basic OSD with GPS settings. Um, and that's about it. Now, the, uh, the only, um, the only thing that I, that I, I am concerned with uh, right. Let me get out of beta flight here. Okay. Is somehow now, and I and I, I this is not something that I want to spend a lot of time on tonight. On, right. 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 But uh, I need to find out who manufactured this board, and get a wire a pin diagram of it, because all of these. Um, All of these things have to go. I'll show you what I'm talking about. All of these things that have been put on here with plugs, okay? There's that one, there's that one, there's that one. Right. There's all of these. Right. Uh, they all need to be removed okay. from this board. And I need to figure out, I may be able to, to figure it out from actually looking on the board itself, although I don't see a lot of uh, legend on the board. But we're gonna figure out what, uh, 
right? what kind of board this is, and that'll take a little research, and then we'll just hardwire it to, uh, we'll hardwire it right. to this plug here. We'll, we'll, we'll solder this plug on so that it then just plugs into the ESC and everything is wired up the way it is. So I'll need to identify that. But it appears that you got everything, everything here seems to be working. I haven't, I don't see any burn marks or anything on the right. ESC. The motors look good. The flight controller works and it's, it, it's, it's uh, evidently a, a halfway decent flight controller because it's got uh, it's got the uh, SD card slot there for right. say, logging black box, which you'll never do. Uh, it's got uh, a barometer in it, which cool. is what you need for iNav. Cool. So uh, I'm, I have to get the, micro, get the microscope out and try to find out what this is. Right. And that's going to be the hard. That's going to be the hardest part of the whole deal. Right. Is trying to figure out what in the hell, who made this board, and see if I can't get a wiring diagram for it. Uh, now uh, I uh, nav wouldn't tell you that. No, I nav only tells me the target okay. of the software, which uh, was, if you remember, if you remember correctly, the target was a, a omnibus F4 uh -huh. Pro. So that's where I'm going to start. Right. But there may be 10 different uh, flight controllers that use the same chipset as this. Right. And have the same target. And there's some very common ones. Omnibus is very common. Fury is very common. Uh, companies like Beta FPV have their own. Right. But at any rate, uh, what you got here is, uh, with a little work, could turn into an INAV quad. How about that? Uh, and an yeah. INAV quad... Uh, is is cool because you can put it into stabilize mode, right? With with altitude hold and position hold, and almost fly it like a Mavic. <laughs> cool, cool. I yeah. like that. Yeah. So uh, we either do that or we turn it into a, a a Beta Flight quad, right? Without all that fancy stuff. And <laughs> uh, I mean, it, it, you could you could just replace this whole stack, right? Well, let, let's let's cross that bridge when we come to it. Right. right? When right, when, right. when we get to the point, if I say you know this, I can't I can't I can try to figure this out, but uh, I can't uh, you know I don't have the instructions or the or the diagram that came with this board. Right. Uh, and if it gets to the point where it's you know it's five thousand bucks worth of labor, to, it's <laughs> gonna be time to throw this thing out and just right. replace the whole flight controller board. You're looking at about fifty bucks. For right. uh, a flight controller and an ESC to uh, turn it into just a regular beta flight, beta flight quad. Then right. you need a you need a VTX and a camera, right? If you, a, and an antenna. So yeah. you got you got the receiver, assuming that it works. Yep. Uh, we can test that out. But that's what you got there, Art. Um, oh, cool. Yeah. So it's uh, I guess good news. <laughs> what, what do you think? What do you think? Yeah, it doesn't sound like I got hosed or anything. No, no, you got sixty Dr. bucks worth. Of, yeah, yeah, you got six. You got more than sixty bucks worth there out of it. Uh, I mean, you cool. got to figure when you go to look. You can buy the Eachine, Tyro ninety nine, Tyro one nine. You can buy those kits for you know a hundred hundred bucks, hundred and twenty bucks, hundred and thirty right. bucks, and get a whole quad with everything. May not be the best quality stuff, but they're but they're good. Right. It's good stuff. It's good and, and you know, for the average guy, especially like me, right. they fly well and you uh, uh, you enjoy it. Uh, when you go to build a quad by yourself and pick the components, you can spend a lot more money. When I built yeah. my Marmot, just the flight controller stack was almost $120. Right. Just the stack. And, <clears throat> and, and the Armiton Marmot frame was over $100. Wow. So, and then I put the DJI digital in it. So that's $179. So you could end up spending five, five, six hundred bucks on wow. these if you, if you use the top end stuff. But if you put a new flight controller in this thing, Art, and uh, got a decent uh, uh, um, VTX for 25, 30 bucks, camera for 20, 25 right. bucks, you'd be, you'd probably be in it for a hundred and a quarter. Right. 
so, yeah. something like that. Yeah. So I mean, it, it would be a flyable quad. Right. And uh, and we're not going to plug it in tonight, though. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We want to make sure it's wired up before we plug it in. Yeah. So at any rate, uh, what I've got is a big mess on my workbench now. So <laughs> <laughs> I'll get a I'll get a cardboard box and throw all the pieces in the cardboard box and uh, there and we'll take and we'll take it from there. Uh, all right. Uh, let me take a look at the chat here real quick. Uh, oh, you were telling uh, Bill that you paid sixty bucks. Yep. Yeah, and, and uh, Carlos says you still need a transmitter. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and you know that you need to decide if it's something you you're really going to do. Right. It's a commitment. This uh, yep. this FPV stuff. So. Yep. The, the, oh, the, and then I'll have to get goggles too. Well, you could actually use the goggles you already have. Oh, I can't. Oh, okay. Oh, those goggles are, they'll work with any VTX. Oh. They may not be the best, but they'll work. Same thing with you, Rick. Those goggles that you got with your starter kit. The, yeah. The Emacs. Yeah. They'll work with, with any, with any uh, analog drone as long as, uh, you know, because they pick up all the same channels. Oh, so wonderful. the goggles, so the goggles... You might not want to use them if you become a big time flyer, but uh, right. you, you can use them. You can. Yeah, right? I, right. I can. Of course, with my eyes are so bad. The other goggles would be a lot better. Yeah, and and I'm the same way with my glasses and all. Uh, there's only very few goggles I can actually use uh, because I have to wear my glasses in them. And it just so happens right. that the the DJI goggles were great. They just fit the bill. They fit the bill. Yeah, you can't do a change of uh, the white goggles around at all. Which one? I have the I have the DJI white goggles. No, you can't. Unfortunately, uh, you can't do anything with those, huh? No, you can't. And I actually, they focus differently from the uh, the new DJI FPV goggles. The DJI white goggles are set for, like, I had to get reading glasses made to be able to use them. Wow. But. If I put the reading glasses on, the same glasses, and then put the DJI goggles on, I can't see anything because the <laughs> DJI goggles are set for your normal distance vision. Yeah. So I wish they'd get their act together. Yeah. At, at any rate, I uh, I hardly use the DJI goggles, but uh, if you had the gray ones, the uh, DJI Racing Edition uh, okay. goggles, you, yeah. you you probably then then you had an analog receiver built into it, so that one you could have used with with an FPV system. Uh, Just like I tacked, I did that uh, analog mod on the front of my DJI goggles, where I put the analog receiver right. on the front and wired it in through the side, so that I can I can use these. And that's these are the only goggles I use now flying FPV. Or the, those will work for both analog and the and the digital. So, uh, okay, uh, see, we got Carlos in here. I see a big hand. Ah, he's waving. <laughs> hey! There he is. Hey, Carlos. I figured hey, I'd Carlos. help you because uh, Art and uh, Rick are not watching the chat. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, okay, you're going to watch the chat. Okay, good, good. I, there we go. So let me say, Steve Carpenter's here. Hey, Steve, how you doing? Hey. Phantom Paul, Phantom Hodges Drone. Yeah. Newfound Drone Productions. Man, we got a nice, uh, nice yeah. little crowd here for this thing. Uh, Chris is here. Tomas said hi. Said hi. Did I miss anybody? Mitch. I haven't been paying too much I attention. No, I was under the impression uh -oh, that... Oh, you got an echo. Hits. You got an echo, Carlos. Me? I, I just heard myself coming Hello. from somewhere. Not me. No, anyway, probably I thought, I thought okay. Art was going to get his uh, Easy Pilot up today. That's what I was. Well, saying. we might. We're going to get to that too. But but we're okay. going to get to Rick Rick Halbers here, and and we've been, we want to get him uh, get his his, his uh, quad bound to his his radio. Yeah, we can always do mine next week and finish Art. Take no. care of Art. No. No, you've been you've been waiting for three or four weeks. I, I need to see you <laughs> up in the air, if you don't mind. I'm sorry, Mitch. <laughs> oh, that's okay. That's okay. Well, I'll tell you I what, Carlos. You, Carlos, you you guys talk amongst yourself real quick, and I'll clean. Let me clean off my workbench here. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you guys noticed it or not, but I I got. Uh, you see that huge RC helicopter? Yep. Right there. 
Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm I'm going to. Uh, that's a project. That's my project. That's a. Uh, that is a. Uh, it's got a six foot rotor span. Isn't that the one you pulled out earlier or last week? No, that one I showed last oh, week was smaller than this one. Yeah, this is huge. This is a big helicopter, and this is the one that I had when I decided to go into aerial photography business 15 years ago. And okay. we couldn't do it because of the government, but uh, I have a, had a big camera mount that went underneath it, and uh, it, 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 it's huge. But I thought that it would be really cool to try to... Uh, get it, I, I mean, it'll fly, but I, I would love to put uh, a flight controller on it. So it w w like with INAV or something where it will uh, hold altitude, hold position, return to home, do all the neat stuff. Uh, so that's gonna be a project I'm gonna be working on for the next few months because um, they don't really, INAV doesn't, isn't really designed to support helicopters yet but I think I can make it work. So it's gonna, it's gonna be a fun project. So I got that table set up back there. And uh, it, it, you know, with, 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 my, uh, with my OBS setup, you guys don't know what's real and what's uh, uh, fantasy or imagination, you know. <laughs> the, 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 picture, the picture of the drones on the wall are a photograph of, of where I keep my drones. But all of this stuff, is on the table. <laughs> the flying wing is here. See? Oh, cool. cool. And it's on the table in front of the green screen. And it, and, and it, it really it really does look kind of cool with, with everything there. So uh, I thought I'd put out a, a little display. There too. you go. Yeah. All right. So you guys talk while Neat. I go over here and, right. and, clean up and, and try yeah. to clean up all these pieces and parts that belong to art. Uh, Can you hear me, Mitch? David Smith, Magadan, and Maga. What? Uh, Did I miss the dialogue <laughs> for uh, Good Morning? I think, oh, okay. Good Morning. He said it in uh, the sign. Did he take his headset off, Mitch? No, I, I'm here. I can hear you. Oh, all right. uh, Steve Carpenter wants to know what's the payload capacity on a helicopter? That helicopter will lift about uh, 10 to 12 pounds. Oh. 10 to 12 pounds besides its own weight. I hear the echo. Yeah, I'm echoing somewhere, and it's not okay. from me here. So uh, anyway, it might be Rick, it might be you when I talk loud. That's okay, no big deal. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna take my mic off. I'm gonna take my headphones off and go get a, a box to put all this stuff in. So, yeah, I'll be right back too. I got a little run around over here for a minute. All right, what is Kumasta? Is that a... Kumasta is hello. In, uh, oh, like Kumasta in Spanish. It, it, well... Similar. It's, it's spelled different. Yeah, yeah, okay. What language is that? That's uh, Tagalog. Okay, where does that come from? That's the Philippines. Okay, got it. Yeah, Bill's wife is from the Philippines. Oh, okay. And David Smith lives in... The Philippines. He probably lives in uh, Mindanao, which is the big island at the south end of the country. Hey, is Imelda Marco still alive? No, she's been dead for many, many years. They take her shoes with her? I have no <laughs> idea. But Do you remember that? Who was famous for one of those shoes? Their uh, grandson is a legislator in the, in the Philippine government. So there is a, a Marcos and uh, uh, Manny Pacquiao is a senator in the. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just like you. That's right. The boxer and right. senator. Get him on Art's place. It's alcohol. Okay. So, uh, all right, I'm back. I'm going to put all this stuff in this box here. Uh, Art, all your pieces and parts. It's got a bag. Got a bag. Uh, there, you plastic put bag for you for all the little stuff. Doctor Drone is here. Is oh, he? oh, oh, look yeah. at that! How you doing, buddy? I missed him. Good to see, good to see you. Yeah, he. Uh, he's a great fly. He's a good guy. A good flyer, and he's really man. Really learned a lot too. I remember when he first started flying the little little whoops around in front of his house there under the carports and now he's yep. 
Big time ripper. All right. All right, Art, you got all kinds of interesting, probably a bunch of spare parts, too. <laughs> there you go. Some extras. But, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll figure out what that controller is and let you know what the, pres cool. what the prognosis and the prescription is. Okay. And then you can decide what you want to do with it. <laughs> All right. Yep. Rece All receiver. Right. My little uh, opinion is if you're not going to get a transmitter, don't bother fixing it. So consider your transmitter first. Actually, that's what we were talking about last time. Right. The yeah. Yeah. Uh, the uh, Xbox style, where Mitch Mitch's transmitter looks more like a little book. Right. <laughs> as far right. as socks, this might be easier for you to get your hands around. Okay. Your thumb, right. Where the other one, I don't know. Mitch will show you the other one. You know what the other one looks like. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah that I don't. I don't have anything. Yeah, I don't have anything it's like a, that though. It's a little bit bigger than the uh, the Phantom Three, Phantom Four. Uh, yeah. It, yeah. It's more yeah. like a Mavic, more like a Mavic uh, transmitter than yeah, a, a lot uh, more switches and stuff. Yeah. yeah, but it still has that small, small oh, form factor. That one that Carlos has. I'm talking yeah. about the one that you have, Mitch. It's more like the one the, that I have is, is the same as what Rick is what Rick has, and that's the uh, that's this uh, no, this jump no. this jumper. Uh, yeah. Ju well, this is the jumper. I have this jumper T16. Okay. And uh, that's my main, that's the main radio that right. I use. And uh, right. I've, I've also FR got... FR Sky a, is a protocol, just so you know. It's not the name of a radio. Oh, no, okay. FR Sky is a manufacturer. No, but it's a protocol, F basically. Like mm, Fly Sky. Yeah, no. but, but F FR Sky is the, is the company, is the manufacturer yeah, yeah. that makes, yeah. that makes uh, these radios. So every radio manufacturer, most of them start with their own protocol. Like Fly Sky has their own... Uh, right. Spectrum right. has their own, Futaba has their own, but uh, the, the Free Sky is the is is the manufacturer. Right. Now the Jumper T16 will bind with Free Sky or Fly Sky receivers, but they right. but this runs Open TX software, yeah. which has nothing to do with uh, with FR Sky. Right. That, did I make it? Did I make that clear? Or did I confuse everybody? Yeah. No, that makes sense. Okay, um, so uh, Rick, you got your yeah. you got your you got your little drone there. Uh, yeah. Also, that All little right. USB C connector. You have that available near you? The what? You the got USB -C? A, a micro USB. I mean, a cable a cable with a micro right. USB plug that you can plug into that, the drone. Okay, that I can plug into here. Yeah. Now it cool. plugs in in front of the camera. Actually, behind, behind the camera, the camera. <laughs> behind the camera. Look at, look, look at, look at what I'm doing here, Rick. I see right uh, back down, straight down. Yeah. So what you need to do is you'll need to tilt the camera forward, so you can get to that connector and plug it in. Yep, right in there. Yeah, open this one up. You see it? Uh, yeah. Well, this make one sure looks, that this one looks a little different. This cable. Well, to, you know, yeah, it's huh? a micro micro USB. Find it here. Yeah, let me uh, let me do there. this here. That's let me really zoom. Cool. Let me zoom in on this and show you what okay, this looks yeah. like. Yeah. Mitch, you can do it a lot better. Yeah, yeah it here. looks like that. Looks like this, Rick. See it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to find one here. It's the same Cell phone. as the Mavic. Do you have a Mavic 2 or yeah. a Mavic Pro? Uh-huh. Okay, in, 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 in the controller, in the side of the remote controller where you, where you plug it into the cell phone, that has this kind of a plug in it, the micro USB. I got a bunch of them. One second. Okay. Hey, Mitch, do the controllers get charged with that also? What controllers? 
to the to the Mavic Pro. I know the Mavic Air used the micro USB. Yeah, to the charge. Mavic the, the Mavic Pro and the Mavic Two they all use uh, the micro right, USB. So you should have and, that and with in fact, that's a that's a, a, a was a big problem because they put a very strange micro USB socket on the controller that would allow yeah. you to plug the plug in upside down, and people were breaking breaking the little tabs in there all the time. Uh, yeah, hold on, that's, a, hold yeah, on a second, Rick. Let me try to yeah, put it in. You, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's, that's it. One. Now make you know one side is wider than the other, so you make sure you right. put it in the right yeah, way. Yeah. Kind of the trapezoid shape. And did you push the little? Did you push the little? Uh, you, you tilt. You tilt the camera forward, okay. and it goes right, right down in there. Uh, I see. I see. I got a pointer here somewhere. Let's see. If Mitch, I why don't you just make yourself full screen? Might be easier to see. I don't know. I could do that. There you go. There you, go. you see it down in there, Rick? That's it. I'm just trying to get it to go in. Yeah, don't, don't force, force it. it. And make sure you got it in the right way. Yeah. yeah. And Okay. All right. Hang on a second. Let me get you. Let me get you back here. You got that in there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Plug it into your computer and see what lights up. See if you get. See if it lights up. And you get a USB. And you get a. Uh, you don't have them in beta flight yet, right? No, not yet. Okay. Well, we got to get. Yeah, yeah. We got we got light. Okay, okay, cool. Okay. So now what I want you to do is can you share your computer screen with me? All right, let's see if I can so share screen. Share screen down at the bottom. Open beta flight. Well, yeah, you're gonna have to share your screen first and just share your whole desktop. Okay. Yeah, it's that little window looking icon at the bottom of your screen. Yeah, I've got it, it popped up. It says your screen now, a little square. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and then uh, you hit that blue, blue bar. It says share screen. And then you'll see entire screen application window he's got it he's got it okay uh wait a minute good job Mark. back for the sky tracker here it is okay cool all right so that's your that's your screen okay rick now open open beta flight Hey, okay. Now, look up here. What I want you to do is I'm going to, uh, I, I want to figure out a way to to share so you can see mine too, but that's going to be kind of tough. Let me, yeah. uh, let me do this. Hold on a second here. Hey, Mitch, if you have um, less people, would it make it easier? Uh, no, be the same okay. thing, Carlos. Right. Uh, let's, you're not getting out of here that easy. No, no, no. <laughs> let's go. Okay, is, so I'm I'm at ten point one. Ten point one. What is, is he talking about? The, uh... Well, let's try it and see what happens. Just click, okay. uh, click where it says it says close. there's a newer version. Click that close where it says that. Just close that out. Close that out. All yeah. right. There you go. Now up in the top corner. You see two buttons. One says connect. One says update firmware. And then right to the left of that, it should say COM something or other. All I have is connect button only. You don't have update firmware? No. Yeah, we're going to need to, you're going to need to, to get that uh, that newer version of, download and install that newer version of beta. Why? The 10, 10.6. Well, try to connect and see what happens. Yeah, get the connect button. You can do it, Rick. 
<laughs> nah, he's got, see, this new quad's got 4.1 on it, doesn't it? Or is it 4. Point, uh, let me see what it's got on it. It's got uh, 4.1, yeah. And 4.1 yeah. won't, won't, won't connect to the older versions of Betaflight, Carlos. Uh, okay. All no, right, so. Nothing. Yeah, so close out, uh, just go ahead and close out. Um, close that out and. Uh, Open it up. No, just close close that out and. Stop hearing. In, in your, in your, you know, between now and the next time. Okay. Down, download the uh, the ten point six version. 10 and then here's right. And here's what I'm going to want you to do just to make sure that you got it and it's working. Okay. And uh, you you're going to. Um, You're going to have, it's going to come up and it's going to look like this. And you're going to, that's right. under the StreamYard thing. You're going to see a connect button. You're going to see an update firmware button. You're going to see two drop downs. One of them is going to, is going to say, after you plug the quad in, it's going to say COM something. Mine says COM6. It'll, whatever a COM port is assigned to it, it should show up there. And below that, it's going to give a baud rate. You don't need to fool with that. In the upper left-hand corner, way over here, it'll tell you what version of the configurator you have. And this says 10.6.0, which is the Yeah, I can see it. mine said 10.1, but I only had the one button on the right-hand yeah. side. Well, and the reason, to, yeah, yeah. And, and probably it didn't even recognize the software that was on your quad, so it wasn't, it, it wasn't going to give you the update button or that may have been a new feature too uh, that they didn't have on the older version of uh, I don't even remember that far back uh, do you know where to find the uh, the new version of Betaflight when you when you launched Betaflight in that window that popped up did it tell you click here to get the new version right uh, yeah actually I went there but I wasn't sure which one to click on okay to hold on a second hold on a second what you do is you uh, go to a browser, open up a browser tab, okay? Go in, go into the uh, Google search, type Betaflight Configurator, F-I-G-U-R-A-T-O-R, Windows, okay? Hit enter. You, you'll come to... Uh, I think it might be the first one. GitHub, let's see if it's this one. The first one you come to. Yep. Yeah, 10.6. Then you go all the way down to the bottom and it'll say assets. See it right there? Assets. And this is Betaflight Configurator Installer 10.6 Win32 Exec. That's what you need. And this is the... Uh, I put the link to that in, in the chat. So um, that link I just posted in the chat will take you to that page. Go all the way down to the bottom of the page where it says assets. And you'll see the second one down is Win32 exec. And that's the one you want to install. Win32. Yeah. Hey, oh, how long have you been on stream? What's that? How long have you been on the live stream? What does it say now? One hour and four minutes. Yeah. So, Rick, worst case scenario, go back and play. You know, you can play this back at one hour and change, and you'll okay. see what he's. Just keep uh, that. Wait now. So I want configurator installer. Ten point yeah. six Win thirty two. Right. Exactly. Right. Seventy nine point four megabytes is the size. Okay. Can I click on that now? Let it run. Yeah. Yeah. It'll it'll download it. Might be quick. Yeah, that doesn't take long. It's not that big a file. Until you hear a clap and sound. Yeah, until smoke comes out of your computer. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but that... Oh. Uh, All right. Well, i got to let it... I'm going to have to uh, do it after, I think. Yeah, I would do that. And then, and then what I want you to do, after you get that installed and downloaded and you get it opened up, then... Uh, Go into Betaflight. Um, 
okay, like this. Uh, I got my little drone. My little drone is plugged in the way yours the way yours should be right here. What happened to my camera? Oh, my camera. My looks like my my camera locked up. My. <laughs> Okay, well, that's one less asset I have for to, tonight. I got to back out and re come back in because if whatever I get, it messed up everything. Oh but no, you, you're well. We still see you. At any rate, what you what you're going to want to do, Rick, is is um, get uh, get it plugged in, get the 10.6 version of Betaflight, hit connect, and it should come up with with this screen. Okay, and if you get this screen, then you're well, you're well on the way, because from there I can pretty much talk you through everything, and we can do that the next time. Cool. Rick is gone. Okay, we'll wait till he comes back. Uh, okay. You know, it it really helps when you're doing this kind of stuff to have multiple, multiple uh, cameras and windows. Yeah, there you are. He's back. There okay. is Rick. Did you hear what I said? Did you hear what I said? No. Oh, okay. I said, uh, when you download the, when you install the new version of Betaflight, plug your quad in, just like we showed you. And those USB plugs that are on those little boards are very easy to break. So you always got to make sure you don't force it and it's going straight in. You know, be careful okay. with those. Yeah. Uh, in fact, if you're not going to use the quad, leave the thing plugged in the quad. Just unplug it from your computer. <laughs> That's what yeah. I'm doing right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, um, and then when you go in when you go into Beta Flight, uh, look at look at what I've got here. Uh, you're going to want to just click in the connect button up top, and okay. you should end up with this. And when you wiggle the quad around, the little quad on the screen should move. And if you get that far, then we're all ready to set it up. The next okay. thing we got to do is we got to set up your radio and bind it to the receiver in the quad. But we need beta flight. You'll, you'll want be you don't need beta flight, but you don't want to have to find the bind button. button. You want to be able to put it into bind mode from within beta flight. So have you played with that, uh, with that radio at all yet? I just turned it on, put the batteries in and turned it on, make sure it worked. The, the screen came on. Okay. But I already know how to do. <clears throat> yeah, All when right. I tried to download that, it, everything went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I lost All, All right. the voices and everybody was in and out, in and out. Right. Oh, that's okay. Well, get the beta flight, get the beta flight going. And uh, maybe... Thursday night on my Thursday night stream, we'll spend a little time working on this too, and we'll get whatever we'll works get, out best for you. Well, you know, any anything. Hell, if you want any time, if you if you want, uh, uh, yeah. we can just get it's, on it. We can just get on been uh, uh, for a month already on Skype, and, and I, you know, we can get on <laughs> Skype and do it too. I mean, it doesn't have to be on a live stream, but I just thought that uh, yeah, uh, might uh, enjoy, if, if might everybody enjoy wants to it. see how to do it, more people yeah. will get to learn the stuff. Yeah. So we'll plan maybe th this Thursday. We'll plan okay. on uh, getting. Sounds we'll get good. your radio set up Thursday. Y you uh, let me know. Send me an email or call me or something if if you have a problem getting it open in, in Betaflight. We'll, we'll yeah, we'll yeah I'll let you know that. when I get everything set up on well, the yeah. Betaflight and get all that going. Uh, okay. We don't have to waste a lot of time doing it. But well, you know, I'll give you a call. Not a waste. It's not a waste of time because yeah. everything oh. that you're going through, anybody who's never done this before is going to go through that. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, see, I'm learning yeah. a whole bunch on it. A lot of other stuff, too. Good. Every Good. little bit now, helps. Hey, now, uh, Art. Carlos, uh, that controller you were talking about, that's the Free Sky X Line? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm the looking at one. them on eBay right now. The now get them from Amazon. Don't get them from eBay. One forty nine. Get them from get a it real from Grace and Hobby. You can get yeah. It from get them from a drones. real dealer. A real dealer. Uh, right. That you can send it back to if there's a problem or give you some right. service. Carl's, now it may they, be that that may be a real dealer. It may be a real dealer on eBay. A lot of those guys have eBay stores right. too. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. There's a now, place called Pyro Drones in California that's, I guess, closer to you, Art. You can get okay. it from there. Pyro Drones, RDQ, Amazon. If they got it, if they got it on Amazon about the same price, always get it from Amazon. And the okay. reason is if there's it's anything return. wrong with it, you just right. send it back. No problem. Yeah. No problem whatsoever. I, if I can buy something on Amazon, I, yeah. I always do. I always do. This is the only thing with this controller and probably other ones. You have to buy these batteries, which are not the regular size, and then you have to get a charger for the batteries. Oh. Okay. These are 18, not 650s, 18 500s. Now, what is that, what is that uh, controller cost? A 149 I think. If you're going to spend $149 on an X-Lite, I would spend one hundred and fifty nine dollars and get a uh, a jumper. <laughs> yeah, but okay. it's not a it's not a matter of well, in my opinion, it's more of what he can hold with his hands and and yeah. reach with his thumbs. Well, that's what I would think. On the the, the controller that Mitch has, it looks like it's got a, a thing to connect the lanyard on, right? Oh yeah, you, yeah. yeah. yeah exactly. oh, I always fly, yeah. always fly with an extra. Yeah, if I have a lanyard, then then it's no problem. I could just to have it set and just like I did with my my phantom drones so it was it's no big deal and you yeah, have no, always... no problem extending your thumbs no no okay then you're good either yeah. one it's just what you what your hands can hold I don't know right. for me yeah. I have pretty big hands too and, but you and know what Art? you're not going to need that controller for a while yet we need right. to get this you yeah. need to be fl- you need to be flying for a while before you right because you'll never use it. You you want to be you want to be ready for it when you get it. Right. So speaking of flying art, let's get your little drone out. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I got the drone here. Okay. Uh, now, have you learned have, have you learned how to tell what channel it's on? No, I haven't. Hold on. Okay. Let me go get the transmitter and uh, and the tablets. Okay. On, so I'll what I'm going to do for you is I'm going hey, to. Art. You know, I Mitch, want to tell, uh, I, tell you Art, I uh, sent Rodney a Rodney Bell a jumper controller and a uh, Tiny Hawk. He's going to give those away when he reaches a thousand. Oh, what, you're really? That's quite a quite a so giveaway. It's the uh, what? It's the Jumper Eight. Oh, the Eight. Okay. The okay. Eight. I had bought that originally. Then I the yellow one. You, you, uh, yeah, you showed me the uh, the T sixteen. I said I gotta have that one. So <laughs> I had two of them. So I, I figured I could send that to Rodney to give do a giveaway. Oh, that's cool. That'd be great. That's great. Uh, Art may want to get in on that. You can get a controller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Art wins everything. Yeah, he does. I think you know, he always wins. Yeah, I, I I don't even think we should let him play. Actually, I think. <laughs> you know that his uh his quad, Mitch, the channels can be unlocked. There's a button, yeah. and you know I have to do the whole battery thing, so it yeah, might open. You up mean uh, you mean uh, oh, right, like Tyler. this like this button right here? There you go. Okay, all right. See how I'm thinking of you. I did a little research for you today. Me too. And uh, and and actually, Art, uh, I found the the manual for that setup that you got there. I've got it sitting there. <laughs> oh, you got the manual? Yeah. Okay. That so. I need it. So yeah, but the one for the Tiny Hawk Two is not the drone that Art has. He has a oh, different yeah, drone. He's, he's got, got the uh, easy. He's got easy. the easy pilot. Uh, yeah. So it's all different now, Art. Yes. Um, look at the screen, and do you see the diagram for the VTX? Can you find that in the drone? Uh, Hold it up. Let's see what you got there. Turn it upside down. Turn it upside yeah, down. Let me take the, the battery out. Okay. Well, you see where the anti? Do you get to turn the drone over? Let me see from the top. Oh, it's got that plastic on it. Okay, well, Carlos, you know this. How do you get to that button? It's in the middle, Art. Look, look in the middle of the un, on the underneath. Look at the look at the diagram, Art. Right. Let me get the drone and explain and it. And see if 
look at the diagram and see if you see something in there that looks like this diagram where it's got, that's where the antenna comes out. There's a board. There's a button in the middle, and on each side of the button, there's an LED. Oh. Okay. Yeah, see I, that? See a, I see a button. Yep. It's uh, right. Yep. Right in the you middle. See it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then there's, there's uh, L uh, LEDs on either side of the button. One LED is between where the antenna connects and the button, and the other one's on the other side. Right. Okay. So without putting the battery in the battery holder, just plug the battery in. Okay. And then it says here, it says all LEDs on the VTX are normally off until the button is pressed. To check band and channel status, click the button once quickly. Mm. Okay. All right. So I got a, a blinking light. Here's right, what but but the the uh, the button there, there, yeah but there's that's a different blinking light. There's yep. lights on either side of the button that aren't lit up uh, now. That's right. So press the button quickly. Just press it once and and release it. Okay. That's Better to get something that's like a pencil wooden. or wood, not metal. Chopstick. Chopstick. A chopstick. You oh, know what toothpick? I use. Yeah, toothpick. I use uh, skewers. I, you know the wooden skewers that you get right. for the at the grocery store. That's okay. what I use. Hold on, I I have toothpicks. I will be right back. Okay, I'd uh, I'd let you, I'd let you use this one, but I, it'd be kind of hard <laughs> kind of hard to get it. But that's 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 what I do. Just it's a handy handy thing. I just get these. And I break them in half. These long skewers you get for making shish kebab on the barbecue. When was the last time you made one? <laughs> I, I every once in a while, but I got a whole package. Oh, okay. They come in big packages no, know, for I... nothing, and they're 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 great for <laughs> stir like mixing up epoxy glue or stirring mm -hmm. something to throwaways. But they have this nice point on them, which is sharp. And for working on some of these things, this is a handy thing to be sticking in into the middle of an electric circuit as opposed to a. a metal screwdriver How's my dream? hey Greg how you doing buddy universal adjustment tool <laughs> there he is okay all right so what's supposed to happen art when you press that button is Okay, all right. When you press that button quick, you press it and release it. One set of lights will blink a number of times, and then the next set of lights will blink another time. That, and that'll tell you the first set of lights that blink will tell you what band you're on. The second will tell you what channel. All right, there we go. So just tell me how many times they're blinking. Now I'll have to do it again. Well, yes, do it again. Okay. <laughs> one, two, three. One, one, two, three. Okay. The first set of lights to blink was three. Yeah. And the second was one. Right. Okay. So, so you are on, uh, what's the band? before F. Not R. Second. You are on the E. Band E, channel 1. 5705 is the frequency. So on your goggles, Art, turn your goggles on. Right. Set them to E1. Okay. Band E, channel 1. And then you know definitely that you're on the same channel as the drone. Okay, I, I got a picture. But okay, what what I'm channel nine. does what channel does your goggles? Okay, it says R dash three. See, you're not you're on a you're not on the right channel. Yeah. Okay. Even though you get a picture, and that's why you've been having problems. So you know how to change change the channel. There's a button right on the on the goggles. To okay. Change channel. Yeah, that was uh, frequency. So channel. Yeah. C H. Yeah. 
Okay. You want E, you want E, one. Just go E first. Find E. Well, it doesn't uh, give a letter. Oops. I... On the uh, left top, it doesn't give a letter? Oh. <laughs> On the top left. Top left, it says R. Okay. Yeah, you so want that's... that to say E. Right. Now, is there a separate button for the band, Carlos? Yes. Or is... yes. Okay. So, Art, look on your on the top and find the button that says band. Not channel, yeah. but band. Well, the it other would be, one... It would be FR. It says FR. Right. Frequency. Uh -huh. Okay. Is that changed one at a time? You have to go through all the bands, or is there a separate button for the band? and, a, and oh, One okay. channel, one, one for channel, one for band. So, R which... Don't oh, make me read the directions. Oh, there's E. All right, stop. That's it. You're good with the E. Now hit the frequency till it goes to one. Right? It was E1, Mitch, you said? Yeah. And oh. you should see the picture. Uh, no, maybe I... Uh, dang it. I gotta... Doesn't you need the quad on, too? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the quad is on. Try it again. Push that button again and count the blinks. Okay. Now, you, do you see, Art, on that on that uh, on that uh, diagram there? Right. Here, hang on. Hang on a second here. Let me make you small and make me big and go back to the. Uh, to this here on that diagram okay hold on a sec let me concentrate on the okay it's out of time one two three four five one two three four one okay let me change the okay Wait a minute. Tell me that didn't sound like what happened last time. What does no, one, two, I three, four, one down. mean? Let me try it again. Take your time, Mark. So I make sure that I'm the the first set of lights is going to be between one and five. Is the uh, it should be the count between one and five? All right. Let me try that again. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. So the first set of lights was, okay. So that's F band, okay. channel one. So you have to look for F now. You know that, right? Okay. Okay. I got it. Oh, there it is. F Picture. All right. All right, All right. Do, do, hey, do something, Art, real hey. quick. Go, All right, go to the furthest part of your apartment and, and take the quad there. Okay. Take the quad to the furthest part of your apartment. See if it, you still have a picture when you come back. All right, hold on. <laughs> Let me uh, see if I get this battery put in. All right, I got to un... Yeah, well, that un makes sense now. So what was happening, Art, is you were you were getting a harmonic at a frequency which gave you a picture but the minute the drone got 20 feet away from the you know from the goggles it was on a wrong channel that's right. why you you weren't getting a good picture keep that in mind rick because that's going to happen with you possibly and your fx yeah. well yeah but he can he has smart audio no but and, he, well i mean he can also adjust it on the on the goggles, on the goggles. yeah but he's got a pair of uh don't you have some uh, fat sharks no Rick? Yeah, that, uh, I don't uh, have FXT. Uh, or, no, or the Viper. You got the Viper. The Viper. Yeah. yeah, well, the Viper. Yeah, the Viper is easy to change channels because it gives you that whole table. You just down and into the side it. hit. It'll memorize it too for yeah. you, Rick. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. We've accomplished something tonight. That's something good. other than than the the destruction of Art's drone, we have actually accomplished something. <laughs> We've accomplished something positive. <laughs> well, we we got it started now. Anyway, you know where to yeah. go. Yeah. 
Well, not only that, Mitch, but we're all stuck in our houses. What else we would be doing? We'd yeah, be... you're right. What else are we going to be doing? We could be outside smoking a cigar. Could be doing that. Oh man. So uh, let's see if Art still has a picture. He's back. Actually, if he turned it on, he could actually fly it back. <laughs> yes. We're, well, that, what do you think? What do you think is going to happen now? <laughs> we're hoping. I don't know. Yeah. And you know that the uh, controller has also three three okay. flight modes, right, Mitch? Yeah, I still have a picture. All right, okay. so fly it back. Well, <laughs> all right. So so now, Art, we we solved the problem of the fact that your your uh, picture disappeared Art, you, when you got two feet away from you. Can you hear me, Art? Yeah, I can hear you. Make sure your left switch and your right switch, well, left switch, most importantly, is down. Yeah, it, it is. And the throttle on the left side is down. They're both down. Okay. Now, Art, I don't know if you know, the switch on the right on that controller is your flight mode switch. Down yeah. is, okay, you know that. All right, good. Yeah, down is like beginner and all the way up is uh, like uh, altitude yeah. Okay. So I would go with the middle. Let him personally. start in beginner. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. the beginner is only one. Is only one control. You only use the right stick. You don't use the left at all. Oh, okay. So that's oh. why I'm saying use the the middle mode. Oh, okay. That's why they say. Uh, that's why they say anybody can get quiet. All right. Let's see if I get really. Just don't, can... hey, just just don't crash it into the piano. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll try not. <laughs> I don't think that's the rental. He's messing up his dude. Hey, have you flown it line of sight yet, Art? Oh, dang it. Now I pressed the wrong button. Okay, now I gotta. Uh, have, you, have, have you flown it line of sight yet? Yes, I have. Okay. Oh, good. So you get a little feel for how the quad flies. Yeah. Oh, did you get it off the channel? Yeah, I did. Yeah, but at least he knows how to use it. Good yeah. Job. Hey, we're getting there. You gotta get it back. Yep. F one. Dang it! Now what did I do? Oh, there. Okay, there's F. There we go. All right. Here's where my getness is my handicap. Trying to get this. This hot. <laughs> All right, put the strap on first, then the head, the eyepiece. You got it. All right. Oh, got it. I think that's about as good as it'll get. Okay. All right. Now, where did I put? Okay. Now, where's the controller? Right. <laughs> I got it. And where's, the, right. where's the drone? Yeah, All right, nothing. see if you can fly it under the legs of the piano. Okay. <laughs> Holy. You're not in Holy. a real big room there, are you, Art? No. <laughs> and let's see. Left switch up, arms it. I hear something. Oh, and the picture just went. The bluey. Yep. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. Oh, maybe the I battery buzzing around. Up. Oh. There we go. You have a picture? It's on the floor, so uh, something happened. As soon as I took off, the uh, the picture just went. Maybe the battery's dead. Well, that was a brand new, that was a new battery that I put in. And it did you charge it? I need to charge it? I charge up my, uh, my goggles or my controller. Make sure you got everything charged because what might have happened was the minute you turned the motors on, it drew the battery down enough to kill the video signal. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, so, see, that's that doesn't have an OSD in it. It doesn't show you what the battery voltage and all that stuff is on the display. Right. Uh, yeah, that's right. 
which is which is why diary. it's so handy. So it's F one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And it, it'll remember it every time you just turn it on. Right. It should. Uh-huh. Uh, so that's good, though. At least you had the picture on the other art. side of the apartment. Yeah. yeah. I've got it all the way in my uh, living room on the chair. Oh, no kidding. Evidently, it, it went up and it went backwards. And it looks did like... You see, did you right see anything like when you, when oh, you yeah, were flying? Okay. Yeah. Well, go get the drone and unplug it. Oh, yeah. Okay. You, got okay. you have another okay, battery you can put in? I'll try not to knock everything off. <laughs> there we go. Oh, man. Hey, Mel, how you doing? Mel's here. Good to Who's see this you. Who's this Mel? Mel? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Ludsat1. How you doing, my friend? One dollar, huh? Yeah. Art is as, as, as a beginner FPV guy as ever exists on the planet right now. So uh, we, didn't, we really didn't expect them to fly it around the whole apartment and make it back. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that he got into the other room was... was That's a plus. That was a plus. Yeah, that was plus. a plus. Ludsat says he loves art. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so you know art. <laughs> uh yeah, we're going to make an FPV guy out of Rick and Art. And Chris Hope. He's and the next Chris one. Hope. Yeah, Chris Hope. Everybody. Everybody, when they get tired of flying camera drones, is going <laughs> to be an, F an FPV. You know, I'm excited about the uh, cinematic FPV stuff. Uh, some, of the, some of the shots that you can get. In, with a high def camera on these drones, as long as you're not going too crazy, you know, you can get some gorgeous stuff. For me, as much as I like, well, I don't know, maybe I, I don't even really care about the photography end. I just love the flying part, to be honest well, with I you. Well, I do too, but I like When I bought my too. Mavic Air, it was more for the flying than the photography. Because yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. This is what I, I was researching, and Mavic Air seemed like the one to buy. All right, I'm back. So, okay. So you yeah, need to just all you, over by my uh, my uh, front door. Evidently, I, it went up, and went backward, and ran into the door. Oh well, cool. At least you got some distance out of your first one. Yeah, but the one well, thing I noticed, especially with with these batteries, they slide around, and I think that's what's screwing up when I try to fly it with, without the goggles. Did it disconnect? Are well, I, I, took a, I, I disconnected. Oh, okay, so then it didn't. Disconnect. Well, can you put can you put some uh, electrical tape or something around it? You know what? I found, I've got a a piece of uh, foamy stuff that maybe I could slide under. I could cut this and at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Anything that just keeps them from wiggling around. Right. Although the the, the wire. When it's plugged in, is going to hold it in. You're not. Oh yeah, no great G forces because, on it. Well, yeah. because it's, it's got this, <laughs> this thing here in the middle. It just said it slides back and forth. Yeah, that won't that won't hurt anything. No. But uh, does that now, take a two S too? No, they're one S. Yeah. And Rick, you need to fly your tiny hook on one S, not uh, not two S. Okay. One uh, S. One S and that thing will oh, scare the hell, scare the pants off you. You don't know what two S. By the way, no one S. One S has got tremendous performance on that. Well, that little tiny like, too. Yeah. When I I take off, as soon as I take off, I see this. What is that? White. Well, or it, snow. It, it's snow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what probably happened? The the drone probably went behind you. Well, I'm I in just, another room. Uh, well, it's hard. It's hard to say. Yeah. Um, why? Why that happens? Um, get a get a fresh battery in it. Maybe take it out. Take it outside. Right. Don't fly it on the roof. But uh, or your neighbors. Where you got where you got room. <laughs> yeah. And you just have to practice. Inside right. the house is the is is probably the best place to start because yeah, you can't lose you can't lose it. That's right. And no wind. 
So go yeah. into go yeah, so go into the bigger room and just keep trying, oh, just keep doing it. Guy. There you go. Picking it you up. just art, you just got to you got to do it. I mean, when I yep. when I started, I spent a lot of time down on my knees crawling under furniture trying to <laughs> reach in and grab and pull the thing out from under the couch and out from yeah. behind the TV on the wall. Behind the TV, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. yep. And you know when you lose it in your own house, you know you you yeah. you really you know, you've really accomplished it's in the something. house, it's nowhere else. Yep. Uh, hey Jim, above and beyond drones is here. How you doing? Well, I feel like I got somebody oh, lurking got down Mel. there. Whoa, Mel. there he is. There hey, is Mel, Mr. Mel. The man with the are How are you, Mel? I'm well. How are you? Good. Yeah, yeah, I was just gonna say when you when you told Art to go outside, I was thinking. Yeah, maybe not a good idea. Never see the drone again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I remember the first time I flew my tiny hawk outside. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember with the that. goggles. Now I flew I it outside, yeah. watching it. Field. Okay, but at my house, now you got to remember, picture five acres with about two acres cleared and the rest of it's woods and brush and yeah. bushes and well the first time it landed i'll say easily yeah. it ended up on top of the roof of the garage i yeah. had to get a ladder and get yeah. up there and get it the next time it landed i actually hit the kill switch on the motors because i disarmed them because I, I couldn't get it to go where I wanted it to go, and it was headed for the woods. So I hit the kill switch. That was smart. Standing in the middle of my driveway in front of my garage, <laughs> surrounded by woods, and I took the goggles off, and I turned in a 360-degree angle, and I said, okay, where the hell is it? It's an <laughs> inch and a half across. <laughs> this is five acres, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, I was recording on the DVR and the Fat Shark goggles, so I went with that chip in the computer, looked at where it went down, and then that gave me an area to search. Then once I got close, or what I thought was close, I kept arming and disarming the motors, and pretty soon I seen some little bushes wiggling when I would arm the motors from the props, <laughs> right? So that's how I found it. So I'm, I'm scared. I would love to take mine out to the park or something and try flying it. There you go. But without a spotter, because, mm. you know, yeah, it, you get, the, you, it, it'd be gone. It'd be gone. Point. You'll be fine. You can do it. Now, I can, it's you, got a beeper, I guess. But yeah, but you'll be okay. You, you can't hear you'll it. Be okay. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. Just remember, you know, when you're flying it, just try it as you're flying it. I know when you when I first started, sometimes you, 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 you just don't even – take notice of where you're going you're just busy trying to keep the thing yeah in the air. exactly <laughs> but when a, it doesn't take long before you get to the point where you can say okay i know that tree where that is i'm flying around well, that tree or i I'm was flying able out to, over this yeah i was able to do that at the park and there was a set of bleachers there outside the ball field oh that's right you gapped the bleachers too you flew and in between. I, I remember i, I remember I that flew it. so i was able to keep mark on where those bleachers were but mm -hmm. when i would make the turn to come back i had my brother as a spotter and he'd say well you better start like turning it because you're about to crash into a bunch of trees you know now the trees were 200 yards away okay so <laughs> it was like i had no it was hard for me to keep the drone within a certain radius of my physical location yeah. Based on the view from the drone. Yep. You know, it just, I don't know. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. I lost one in the canal here. Hey, Jim, how you doing, buddy? How you doing, Trying Jim? to get the camera. It looks better here. Yeah. No, yeah, it, looks it looks fine. It looks we're, great. We're yeah. yeah, you look a little sharper than normal. I think you're, all those problems were internet bandwidth problems that you were having. I think so, too. Everybody in the world yeah. is on it down here. Mm hmm and now he's got his camera. You get still plugged in direct, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah, see, and now he's got his camera plugged direct into his computer instead of into a USB hub. Which helps. Oh, well, that's, yeah, that, that helps, yeah. So, in, in fact, that, that Brio says don't put it into a hub. Yeah, you, you should never plug a camera into a USB hub, no matter what you're doing with it. Yeah, you want to find a nice USB 3, one of the blue blue sockets. Mine are red, and I, I wanted to know why, and it turns out that that means they handle both. 3020, 3.1. Yeah. Yeah. I got on the Asus Rogue. Yep. Don't need no stinking bleachers. <laughs> I, can't, you know, I can't keep up with this. Oh man! So uh, Dan is here, uh, Drone Pool. I was uh, I was watching uh, his live stream for a little while this afternoon. Art, I missed you completely today. Yeah. I did how too. Was, I actually made it to his you, live stream. I did I, too. I, I made it there. To yeah. Arts, yeah, I missed your, I missed, I missed yours today, Art. I don't know what happened. Uh, first thing, I, I, I was kind of napping a little bit, you know, and I, and when I woke up, it was a little after four o'clock, and, and I went no. looking to see who was on, and I saw, uh, uh, Dan Drone Pool was on with uh, Ed, Love My Drones, and John Cuppy. And in other words, Art, your show was not exciting enough to keep me awake. <laughs> well, and, and there's a there's another there's another side to that too, and that is that I'm just politicked out yeah. completely and totally. Yeah. I just don't I don't even want to hear it anymore. I don't want to hear I can't you can't turn on the news without hearing about Nancy Pelosi do and Adam Schiff and all that crap. And I yeah. I just it's Sunday. I, I said it to take. I'm just going to take the day off from that stuff there and not think go. about it or get get aggravated about it because uh, I didn't put any of it on today. So uh, um, Ed up there, love my drones, has had got this uh, little receiver that outputs to USB. It captures and goes right into a computer, and will receive the FPV signal. And doing. Remember when I flew around in my house? Yeah, I did essentially the same thing by taking the output of, of the Viper goggles, and the AV output, plugging them into a capture card yep. into the computer. But for 27 bucks, you can buy a diversity receiver that, that you can plug right into your cell phone and use it as a viewer for an FPV feed or plug it into a computer. Oh, and that's it worked cool. really good. So a uh, real estate quad... Mitch, is that, that one of the Elgato capture cards? No, no, this is not. Uh, let me let me see if I can if I can find it for you here. Um, show you what it is. Uh, but anyway, it's twenty seven bucks, and it lets you it lets you. It's a it's a receiver. Let's see. Because he was live going. streaming from it, wasn't he? Exactly, because yeah, it yeah. has a USB output, just like a USB camera. So you plug it into the USB port of your computer, and it and it shows up in anywhere as a capture device. Right. So you can, if you have OBS or you have XSplit or any of those things that allow you to uh, capture a video input, you capture the feed from this receiver as a video input, and you can put it right out, out into your live stream. Um, I think that's what he said he was using XSplit. Yeah, and uh, oh, you were there, Jim. That's right. Um, Let's see here. So I ordered one today. They have them in stock at uh, Race Day Quads. Uh, somebody put the somebody put me. the link. That was me. Oh, I was okay. wondering if you used that. One. You put the sure. yeah, and I I saw that link and I went ahead and. Uh, I'm surprised John Coopy didn't use it. He ordered from Bangor instead. Yeah, and he ordered and and it is it is the same it is the same thing. Yep. Um. I, I, it won't let me. Uh, Carlos, you put the link in the chat. In the chat, on his chat, uh, Ed, who, who's on Drone Pool's chat? If oh, you want, oh, okay. Mitch will find it, or I can find it again if you like. Are you doing it, Mitch? Yeah, I, I found it on eBay for 46 Canadian dollars, but I can show you what it looks like anyway. I, I was trying to find it on Race Day Quads. And, uh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. one on Race Day Quads here. So, wow, Rick... Rick, are you going to go FPV? Of course you are. I'm going to try. You know, something I can play around with in the house. I have, yeah. an, I have a suggestion for you, Rick. 
Look yeah. at something called Emacs Interceptor. It's an FPV car, and it'll introduce I you. I saw that. The, uh, Kelly, Kelly uh, George had that. Yeah, I bought one. It's great. Yeah, I was this, thinking about getting one to play around with. <laughs> it looked like a lot of fun. Fifty-four. Oh bucks. wow! This well, is the cool. deal, guy. It, it's yeah. a it's it's a little, and the receiver is actually powered from the cell phone too. You plug it in with a USB to to a cell phone or to a computer. And it's a diversity receiver, <clears throat> and you just tune it to the channel of your quad. And the video output, you can. There's an app on your cell phone that'll show it, or you plug it right into your computer, bring it into right. VMix, bring it into OBS, do whatever, and actually broadcast your your FPV live stream <laughs> while you're while you're flying it, which is pretty cool. So, oh wow, Mitch, 20, is that the same one that does the channel scanning to find it? Yeah, it does the okay, channel it scan, and it. Uh, it's exactly the same one as the Eoshin. In fact, in the the video on race day quads that they use to show how it works, they use the Eoshin video. It's the same. It's it's just a rebranded version of exactly the same unit. The ones I saw only had one antenna. So well, that was the better? that was the one. That was the one. This is the two, and the two is better because it has true diversity receivers. In other words, it. It has two antennas and it, and it constantly goes to the one that has the strongest signal. Yep. So, th yeah, I'm going to look this. I'm going to look this up. What's that called? Uh, well, I, I'm I'm going to try to send you if I can find. I went. Okay. I went into. Uh, it's in RDQ. Uh, yeah, in race day quads. So let me go. Jim, to, if you go uh, to race day quads and look up the uh, this uh, device, it'll take you right to it. OTG something OTG. What is it called, Mitch? Oh, there it's, you go. Uh, That's the website there. It's right. a Sky Droid here. I'll get you the link to it. Here there you it go. Um, I'll get you the link. Uh, uh, paste because it in the chat. These are also good for uh, infrared cameras. Uh, no, either. this is a, this this is only a five point eight gigahertz receiver. On uh, for for analog quads, the only thing this will receive are the forty or forty-five channels. Uh, actually, it, it, they say it's one hundred and fifty channels, but they're just spacing them very close. But it's the five point eight gigahertz analog signal from from a quad. So I don't know if that I don't think that would help you out at all for anything infrared. Well, all you're doing is see that the uh, Fleerview Pro goes back to a diversity cam. Uh, like a fly sight seven inch screen so you could capture the signal through yeah, one of what these. What what hey. frequency is it, do you know? No, I don't. No, I yeah. don't. Gentlemen. It would have to be in the, the it would have to be in this band. Bell Gen you say gentlemen. So? Yes. Amazon. Skydroid yeah. FPV receiver, five point eight gigahertz, hundred fifty channel O G G F P V receiver, double antenna to DBI blah 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 twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah, that's it. Two dollars more. Race Day Quads has got it for twenty twenty seven ninety nine. Same. The, that's the same thing. The Mel, is that free the, delivery? The single is twenty two. It yeah, would be if you're a prime. It, it would be if you're a, tri a prime guy. Yeah. Okay, so then that's cheaper because Race Day Quads will only be free delivery at fifty dollars. Right. It it ended up costing me probably more than Amazon because uh, uh, of the sales tax I had to pay with race day quads being in Florida and also uh, the $2 and something shipping. But I like to support when I can. I like to support race day quads because they're a local Orlando yep. company and an awful and lot of the times their prices are a lot cheaper than, uh, than anybody else, even than Banggood on some important. items. Largest one-day increase since it uh, arrived in the state. Wow, that's a lot. What was she saying? A lot of lot of new cases. Yeah, uh, well, nine, ninety-six cases in twenty-four hours. Wow. Well, in Arkansas, but, but, in in Arkansas. But, but we were we 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 would have been. I mean, we're expecting that. We're expecting yeah. it to, it has to blow up before it starts to get better. And, and they're testing so many more people. Yeah. Um, 
And so far, what I said is also tr playing out to be true, and that's the flyover is less affected than the coasts, percentage-wise. Oh, well, I would, of course, I would imagine. Uh, <clears throat> I would imagine you're not. I mean, you know, even you're... percentage per capita. You know, we have for every thousand of our residents, there is a smaller percentage infected than every thousand anywhere else. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Two more deaths. Two more deaths in Arkansas. Mm -hmm. and you know, they have refrigerated uh, trucks for the bodies here in Queens at the hospital. Yeah. They don't have room for the uh, bodies anymore. And even emergency rooms are not being used for regular patients. They're actually using that ship, uh, the Comfort, yeah. for regular right. hospital patients as well. It's crazy. How you doing? I know a man, a man that got sick, and he ended up having to go from Long Island, Jewish, or uh, Long Island, well, that's the name of the hospital. They're going to transfer yeah. him all the way to, to Manhattan to put him on that boat because they have no room for him in the hospital. Wow. It's crazy. You don't and there's another doctor from New York City in Brooklyn, I think, or the Bronx, that's saying that um, the treatment that's being used with the ventilators is mm -hmm. wrong that they're using the ventilators to make the lungs work and that's the problem the well the problem is is it's not the lungs are working the lungs are not getting the oxygen into the blood is what the issue is because there's not enough oxygen <laughs> so he's saying that they shouldn't be using the typically a ventilator is used to breathe for a person Right. The people aren't having trouble breathing, making their lungs work. They're having trouble getting oxygen into their blood. So what they need to do is up the oxygen content is what this other doctor is saying. So right. they're, they're still all pulling straws. You know, they're still all they're trying learning. to figure this out. This is not a guessing game. Pneumonia is an infection of but the it's not, But it's it not pneumonia. It's not pneumonia. Okay. That's not what the problem okay. is, is what this doctor saying. I mean, they're all still trying to figure it out. But this guy says it's not pneumonia, this guy in the Bronx. And another guy will tell you to take vitamin C, and another guy will tell yeah. you to take oh, vitamin yeah. D. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. And That's I had why some they dumb kid tell me. practicing medicine because they're practicing. They're trying to learn it. Yep. And I told I you it. Thursday night that I had some dumb kid tell me the other day that white people can't get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I like that one. That was a good one. Yeah. 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 That was uh, brilliant. Yet, yet around the world, <laughs> oddly enough, in the countries that are predominantly pale-skinned people, that's where the highest counts are. Well, but this kid knows better. I mean, this kid oh. knew better. You know mm -hmm. what it is? It's well, the he's people pretty that smart have, then. That have enough <laughs> money to travel and then come back and give it to everyone else. That's what they're saying. They're calling it like that's a right. rich man's disease, so to speak. Yeah. Yep. You've heard the same that's thing? true. Then? That's true. The one, yeah. Listen, the one guy, the one guy in my community who who has it, uh, got it on a cruise. Went on a cruise. Always out cruising around, you know, traveling here and there. Can't stay. And and, and sure enough, and, and and he he got he went to the hospital, and he wasn't sick enough for them to admit him. Uh, he went home and he's getting over it. It's mis he's miserable. I I haven't talked to him. A friend of mine talked to him. But, you can uh, see how many are in your neighborhood that have it on the site I just posted up. Oh, it's cool. ridiculous. And the reason I did that is because we have a state representative who posts by the minute deaths. Can't get them on the, on his Facebook page fast enough. Got to be a Democrat. I'm so disgusted. <laughs> wow. I'm sick That's why I don't put it. on the news. It's constantly this people, this many people have it. This yeah. many people are dying. Yeah. This many people are going to get. This. That's so the I problem know. today. You know, nothing can happen. 000. Nothing can happen that isn't political. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, and can happen you know, that doesn't. It doesn't. This get, is something I was political. telling Sonari earlier. The thing that struck me odd about this is it didn't start on one day and spread across like the U.S. It started basically on the same day in many different places in the U.S. Like it was planted there, you know? I mean, I don't know. I don't well, know. Well, I think that one, it makes a number of... It does. No, I, you know, I, I, I thought about the conspiracy theory, and I wouldn't put it past some of these people to have planned this and planned it. But on the other hand, you, you bring 
You bring two or three plane loads of people in. Well, if that's true, then why are I dead? No, what I'm saying is this. You bring two or three <laughs> plane loads of infected people in, and they probably had a lot of people come in from China, and they land somewhere in L.A., and then they all change planes and get on another, and then they change planes and go somewhere else. And in, in a day, they've got every square foot of the United States of America covered, these people. It can spread that quick from one plane load of infected people coming in if they all have different destinations in the United States. So... I'm not surprised that it spread that quickly or spread that far. It's look, it's in 151 countries, too, right now, not just here. You know, to, like you get every, everybody over in Mardi Gras, and then all of a sudden everybody goes home. It's everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Well, there was 100,000 Chinese at, at CES. Not one of them had, got me sick. Yeah. They initially, had the, uh, the beach is open in Florida, too. That didn't help. Well, but 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 I mean, what, what do New Yorkers care about the beaches in Florida? I, I love that. I got I'm people from my hometown break, telling me my governor's break, an idiot. The spring break yeah. kid spread it because they were just hanging out and doing their thing. And How do you uh, go to I, sources and click on the little button? And then you can put in your zip code and see how many exciting people in your town have the disease. I don't care. You know what? I don't even care. As long as I don't get it. I'm staying away yeah. from everybody. Mitch, Mitch, I spent, well, I was going into Walmart to buy this uh, hard drive, right? This six terabyte hard drive. So just coming out, I thought I'd be a nice guy. And I picked up six pairs of gloves that these friggin' pigs take off their gloves and throw them on the ground. Some lady's well, going, you're going to die, idea. you're going to die. It's not a good idea, though. <laughs> I'm not getting, who cares? It's a friggin' flu. I'm not dying from it. <laughs> hey, Ed, love my drones. We were Click talking on about what? you earlier. Sources, under the source. Click USA, then go over to your state, and then go over to your sources, which are your so, Department of Health. So view by country, and click USA. Then click your state. This is specific to a neighborhood, Jim. Not just it'll get state. it'll get you down to your zip code. Wow. Oh, okay. Well, it's not in alphabetical order, and these states that I'm looking at aren't clickable. Okay. Uh, what am I doing wrong, Jim? We got uh, sixty-seven cases in Brevard County as of this morning. Okay. So that's not too bad. Arkansas, where, where the hell is it? <laughs> Check out Queens, New but York. I, but like I don't want to talk. Thousands. I don't want to talk about the stupid yeah, virus yeah. or politics. Yeah. I don't want to talk about any of that stuff. I want to. Uh, <laughs> I'm so fly. tired of this. It's depressing. So tired of this. You know what? I've discovered that cigars uh, repel the coronavirus. So smoke more cigars. So Whoa, they, look who's in the house here. Uh oh, Dan, Dan. Dan. Drone worship. Dan, how you hey, doing, man? Hey, I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, yeah. He's out <laughs> driving around doing his postmates and not dead. Amazing. <laughs> I've been in oh, hospital. Man. <laughs> I've been in but, doctors. You know, nobody's you know, Mitch, there's still no toilet paper or any of that available at Walmart. I know. Did, did you guys see the thing that the, the, the thing that Carlos? You didn't see the thing that I showed in the beginning, did you? Oh, you gotta no. you gotta do that again. Oh, I gotta do this again. Um, You're gonna like this. I sent it to Ed. I don't know if he watched it. Oh, this is funny. This is funny. Let me get it. Let me get it up. Did here you look again. at the oh. second one I sent you, Mitch? I sent you. You know, I don't, I don't. I don't remember. I get. I get so it's many. The one with the girl dancing. And, the one with I'll, the have girl I'll have to check that out, but let me right. let me see. I gotta ah shit. Hang on a second, guys. Gotta find it again. Uh, let's see here. Where is it? That's that, and it's that. I think I have your phone number, Jim. I'll send it to you later. All right, thank you. And it's that. You'll like and, it. Oh, Mitch. Uh, Mitch has it. It's funny as hell. <laughs> hold on a second. Let me get it. Yeah, you hold should on. have my phone number. I've emailed you, send, you right? You send me an email with it. Yeah. Yeah. I just have to find uh, it. Okay, so what I got to do now is I got to make it big, and Everybody I got to get over. I got to get over. I got to get over to it here, 
So that would be uh, this this yep. screen here, and oh, I got to make it big so you guys can all computer. see it. And here we go. People, shit's getting real. I was outside <laughs> here a while ago, and uh, I saw this, this crackhead girl <laughs> come walking up up the driveway here. Walked up, kind of snuck up on me, scared me a little bit, and she told me that she'd give me a blowjob and a donut for a roll of toilet paper. Well, I guess she come off the parkway, I don't know, but when she left, she went right over between <laughs> and headed over towards Justin's house. So I just warned you all, it's getting crazy. You already saw here. that one too? Right, people, it's getting <laughs> Yeah, I saw that about a week ago. Yeah. That's that's funny as hell, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that is just a... That's classic. Oh, man. Half eaten donut. Yeah. Yep. Right. Cool. The deal was done. <laughs> oh, man, that was funny. I sent that to uh, Drone Bum. He goes, I got a few rolls to spare. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, people still, it's, it's nice to, it's nice to know that people still have a sense of humor. In it. <laughs> By the way, I put this in the, the package for uh, Mitch. Something to stick with my my mom's a travel agent for guilt trips. Yeah, I got him right here. Yeah, he sent and me. Then, then I I got him this one. Oh no, yeah. you did. They're in Art's place. Yeah, I got that yeah. one. I thought there were three. In a, you know what? I didn't see that one because I saw two of them that were the same. So I thought they were all the same. <laughs> I didn't notice that that you had the the different ones stuck in the back. Yep. Yes, sir. And he got a box of. Uh, well, I had a box of that. too that he he ate before he got back to the house. <laughs> now I got a box of drone pieces and parts here. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch, I'm going to say good night and listen in. All right, good well, night, I'm going to say I'm going to say good night here well, too nice. because we're just about yeah. Mel, just Rick, about to wrap Rick, it up and out in a couple hours. Good night, Carlos. Good night, no Thanks, Carlos. Good night, Carlos. Good night. Yes, sir. See you next Carlos. time, buddy. Thursday, Rick. Be ready. Thursday. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll have it all loaded. All right, buddy. All right. Take care. Ah. Uh, uh, all right. Well. Anyway, we're not going to make we're not going to make this a, a a marathon tonight. I'm I'm tired and uh, it's been a couple hours so. Uh, Start hey, to wind it down, guys. But uh, I'm fixing to send you something, Mitch. That if you want to, after you look at it, if you want to share it. I don't know, Rick. Did you send that one to Mitch that you sent to me? I don't believe I did. Okay, I'm trying to find Mitch on my list here. You might have to send it to him. I can't find him. Mitch, do I have you on Facebook? I'm not, not on Facebook. Oh well, you're not on Facebook. No. Okay. Yeah, that's why I didn't send it. Let's see. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't. Do, I don't do Facebook. Okay, let me see if I can figure out a way to share this. Rick, are you playing with the Tiny Hawk that well, like Mitch has? Uh, I was. We're gonna try to uh, hook the. I need Beta Flight, the newer version, and then we're gonna. Put it into it and then hook it up to my uh, bind up, jump, bind up the jumper, jumper and where we yeah. go. Rick's going to change his channel name to Rick FPV. <laughs> <laughs> now, actually, I, I came up with a new name. I was uh, thinking about it's going to be the the Flying Baker. There you go. There you go. That sounds cool. I did design a logo and I'm doing some T-shirts. See how oh, they cool. come out. I ordered one, and when I get it, if I like it, then I'll order some more. Awesome. I'll ship some out. Cool. Flying Baker, Drone Cook, all of them fit you. Yeah. yeah actually, uh, Bill, Coast to Coast, uh, mentioned that name to me. I thought that would be a good one. All right, Mel, what you, what you send to me here? Okay, this is the thing that Rick sent to me. I'm going to make it as big as I can, and I hope the I hope the sound plays. Yeah, I got that from Trevor. Oh, yeah. Nope. Can you guys hear the audio? Nope. No. No audio. Uh, maybe it might be because you have your headset on. I don't know. Um, 
I don't know how to put. I don't know how to make the audio go through. Is the audio not, on the clip on? Yeah. You press that spe speaker. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's all the full. way up. Um. Oh, when you shared the screen, did you enable audio? You have to enable audio when you share the screen. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so back it out. So stop sharing. Stop sharing, and then reshare it, and you'll see a thing at the the bottom. It'll say right after you uh, go to the next screen. Oh, share audio. Okay, yeah. got it. Yeah. All right. All right. I now, think you showed me that too, Art, didn't you? Don't yeah. show this tip again. Okay. Now. There we go. Okay. That's working. That's working. That's working. That's working. And that's working. What she mean she's fucking bored? <laughs> that's funny i like that i kind of thought you would but i laughed like a hoot and i'd seen that one uh, before but yeah, yeah rick and trevor both sent that, that. <laughs> no no the women they don't laugh at stuff like that yeah <laughs> that's a classic yeah, that's funny. That's funny. <clears throat> so thanks to Rick uh, and Trevor. Yep, I Thank got that guys. as well. Yep. Uh, well, guys, thanks for coming in. Thanks for coming in tonight. Well, thanks for the invite. Uh, Sorry I was late, but I was doing a bunch of other stuff too. So. Oh, that's you know okay, Mel. That's okay. And you know, I figured out what I do now on your show. I wait until you say, uh, okay, we're going to wrap it up now. And that's when I get, click my pre-show go live thing well, you, you know and that has backfired on me more than once because there's been times where i've said i'm going to wrap it up now and still going 30 minutes later well <laughs> see here's here's the here's just so you understand what happens on my end is uh i had like seven or eight people that were already waiting in my thing chatting on the chat well, you at know, 10, 10 minutes till the hour, I, I reminded everybody that you were going to yeah, have Perpetua yeah, Mitch FPB you, you tonight. Uh, so far, and I appreciate it, so far it's working out pretty good. I'm managing to not go on till you're about done, and, and the timing has worked out pretty good. So we'll just keep doing what we're doing. Well, I in fact, uh, I got, it was because I was a little bit late getting off, I um, started the time, said I'm going to start my timer, and sorry, guys, I haven't changed it for show ends it still says live in but you know i'm going to play the timer <laughs> and i let the logo play and then i killed the stream because i looked at the clock and it was like one minute to the top of the hour and i was like well sonari came in she goes you know your thing just quit right like, yeah i turned it off <laughs> well no it, it it works out great and i appreciate i appreciate the uh, but i do the, remind uh, everybody I know you do, and I appreciate that. A, a lot of those guys aren't aren't interested in FPV, and and you know they don't come they don't come in, mm -hmm. uh, and that's okay. Uh, it's not not for everybody, but uh, the FPV ranks are, are are growing. And Mel, you know that it it can once you once you have even the smallest success with it, you're going to get hooked. Yeah, you know you know that you know that once you get look at Ken Heron, look at look at it. It's oh it's, yeah. Yeah, once you get that, when you have that first flight, where you where you're not scared shitless, where you you really feel like that you've, you know, you've got well, it. And and you and I hooked. did pretty good when I was flying through the bleachers and stuff in that one video that I played. Right. But since then, I've not had the opportunity to have someone be with me as a spotter, and. The only other time that I did fly was that big seven inch with that four cell battery and it got away from me because I don't <laughs> have the enough experience flying them yet. And that ended in a, well, y'all remember? Yeah, I that remember ended, that right? one. I, yeah, I, I remember I've, that one. I've still got the bag somewhere here with all the pieces yeah. in it. But, yeah. um, 
you know, so but you, you got to do it. That's that's the even if it's just flying the, the whoop inside the house, you got to If you do it and do it and do it, you'll learn it. If it, it, And I don't fly enough. I, I, w I should be flying more. But uh, yeah, I didn't think uh, Ken was going to keep up with it. And after his first crash, but he kept up with it. And he's really good now. He's, he's getting, doing all he's, he's doing really he's good. Doing, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm really surprised. Yeah, when you reach well. that point, all of a sudden it, it'll start to click, and once you hit that point, that's when it becomes really addictive. Yep. Yeah, crazy. Oh, I wanted to show you guys one thing before before we go. Um, I can't show you my overhead camera kind of locked up, so I'll show you on this camera. But uh, let me find the uh, the big button. I got. I did get myself the the little Cadex. Vista, which is that smaller version, the smaller uh, DJI camera. I don't know if you heard about the Vista or not, but it's the new. Oh, yeah. It's, it's it's the new. It's it's the DJI camera, but it's got this tiny little twenty by twenty stack instead of the big air unit, and it weighs a lot less too. No. So, so I'm going to, I'm going to be, thing. yeah, in fact, the camera is, it's all made by DJI, believe it or not. Uh, the cameras, it, 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 it's, a, they co-make it with, with Cadex, but I'm pretty sure by the looks of it that it's made by DJI. It has one antenna instead of two. Uh, and it's got this little, it doesn't have an SD card in it. It's basically, this is this little stack here, 20 by 20 stack right. is the, is the VTX part of it. And it does up to 1200 milliwatts. And it has, from the, the videos I've seen, it has the same range, the same quality as the big DJI air unit, uh, but it about, you know, a lot less weight and able to fit in a tiny little quad. So I'm gonna build myself a little toothpick size quad with oh. a digital cool. with a digital video in it. So that'll, hey. that'll be a project too, coming up. Mitch, that'll be cool. What's the price on it? $149. Hey, uh, Mitch, I wanted Expensive. to, <laughs> I wanted to show DJI. everybody yeah. something that uh, Bill sent me last night. So I'm going to share the screen. Yes, he does have a flipping monkey in the room behind him. <laughs> Spank. Where That's is right, okay. and his there name is, is Spank. Spank right. the monkey. And let's... Where is, where is, okay. Oh, mana mana na mana is in here. Mana mana Hi, Yeah, how you doing, buddy? What are we looking are at Are we here? supposed to be hearing audio or... Yeah, there was some audio in there, but did you see what that was, graphics go by? No, do it, do it again. Now I gotta go. Okay. <laughs> Replay. Well, here's the other one that he, he sent me. So Bill Who's made it? these on uh, hit film for you. Yeah, he made that, and then uh, he made uh, this one. I don't see it yet. I, I don't see. No. Nope. You didn't well, share the screen properly. Oh wait a minute! Dang it! Okay, let's yeah, do that it. Share again. the screen. That's an important share part. Share the screen. <laughs> yeah, you got to remember how to do that. Okay, and here we go. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, dominoes like flipping out. Yeah. Me, I like oh, it. You guys, you guys are so slick. The end has to stay there a little longer, though. It goes away too quick. <laughs> you could stretch that out in your editor. Yeah. Part. Okay. Yeah. You can, right at the very end, you can make a, a snapshot of that and just let the let the image sit there, five okay. seconds or something. Oh, okay. Good idea. Thanks for the input. 
Yeah, because it uh, one, as soon as it opens up, it's gone. And once it opens up, it needs to stay there long enough for people to really see the whole thing and take it in. Right. Just five seconds or something, right, Jim, you think? Five yeah, seconds? Yeah, yes. Six yeah. seconds is the longest I leave something on. Yeah. Okay. All right, so guys. Did you guys did you tune Rick's? <laughs> God, I can't already? get rid of him again. Did I what? Did you tune Rick's already? Did no, you do that? Rick, it, no, Rick didn't we, have the, we had to get the right version of Betaflight right. on his computer. So he's going to do all that. And then Thursday night, we'll take it the next couple steps. And, oh, okay. And uh, Mitch told me I, I did all right on that drone. Yeah, he's. Uh, uh, we figured out what what he got. He actually got a, a somebody built it up with iNav on it. It had, uh, but uh, the controller board was wired really wonkily, and uh, I need to figure out. Anyway, he 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 didn't get screwed. That was the upshot of it. We're gonna. So see this is the the one that he sent to you to. Yeah, this one. Check out. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the, the sixty dollar deal. The sixty dollar deal. So he definitely got his. He got sixty bucks worth of stuff. It's gonna be a lot of a, a bunch of work. I got to figure out what what kind of controller it is. I know what what software is running on it. We got it fired up. It, it does have iNav on it. And it's a fairly recent version too. But I need to get I need to be able to find what kind of what board it is and and get a wiring diagram right. for it so I know how to wire it up. But other than that, uh, he needs a camera and a video transmitter and he's got a drone. A is the only way to do that to take it apart so you can read the board? Well, I did, and and nothing's. I don't see anything printed on the board that oh, okay. tells me. But I know what software it's running. That narrows it down, and I'll just I'll just have to search, figure it out. We'll we'll get it. And the worst comes to worst, we'll <clears throat> replace. We'll put a different flight controller on it. You know, uh, if we have to, we'll make a cool. drone out of it. It's got cool. It's, like it's got good good motors, good ESC. Um, mm -hmm. It's got the bare. It's got the bones to make a to make a quad. Good now bones, we got to make. Yeah. Now we got to make a flyer out of art. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, definitely what I'll do tonight is I'll I'll charge this up and I'll charge the battery on the uh on the goggles. Get those. the quad. Quad batteries. Charge and the, the quad, quad batteries. batteries. You know, well and I've got a charger. I could I've got a whole bunch of these batteries. Yeah, charge them up and charge them up and uh and but, practice. Uh, tomorrow shouldn't, yeah, shouldn't be hard to make a flyer out of art. I mean, a couple of guys could probably fling him across the room pretty good, I and think he'd so. fly pretty I think well. Ah, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I don't. Where's a rim shot? I don't have a rim shot when I need one, but that's all right. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm tired. I'm going all to go right. to bed. You all want hey, to stick guys. around on? Yeah, I could yeah, leave fine. the I could leave the stream up to tomorrow. You could stay here all night. I get a lot of watch time, but that's. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much again, Mitch. Appreciate oh, Rick, always, always a pleasure, my friend. Thank, thank you, and we'll see you throughout you the week. Thank, I'm glad you liked my comedy video. So. Good night, who guys. Just, who just disappeared? Bell's gone, and uh, oh, All Jim right. is gone. Time okay. All right. All right. Good night, Mitch. All right, Art. Take care, Rick. You take, take care. care as well. Okay, I'll talk to friend. you on Thursday. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for coming in. Hey, and it's just me. So. What we do is uh, crank up the music a little bit. There it is. And uh, thank you guys, I appreciate it. Um, Ed, love my drones. Carlos, thanks for coming in. Newfound Drone Productions. Rick, Manamana, thank you. And uh, Drone Days, thanks for coming in. Who else we got that I missed? Timeless Truths, Greg, I doubt Greg Osby Drone is still here, but if you are, thanks for coming. Uh, Danny, Drone Worship, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and I think if I go up, that's about it until I get back to the beginning of the show. So uh, enjoyed it, guys, and uh, we accomplished a little something tonight. And uh, we'll continue on with those projects the next time. See if we can get Art to fly and drone, get Art to fly and get Rick Halberg gone, and uh, then we'll have a big fly in. So with that, I'm going to say good night. I'm going to tell you, even though it's late, to take the rest of the day off. Go play with your drones and uh, stick out this stupid quarantine business. Do the best you can. Fly around the house, and uh, we'll get through it before before we know it. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to my buddy Spank, the monkey, 
and uh, we'll let Spanky say goodnight. Say goodnight, Spank. Uh, uh, uh.